dash of coke. You know what I'm saying? You shout out to Boo. She left me. You Chinese bitch. She was chilling on me. Nah, she always does that. She's they're they both they both kind of do that sometimes, but they're cool, man. That mean that means you're vetted. That means you're cool as fuck when they lay on you. You're I was cool. Enjoying her, just chilling on me. Hey, maybe maybe Bender over here uh, sleep passed out in the uh, towel. He might come by. He's awesome too. He's uh, I would say he's my favorite out of the two, but uh, she's very nice too. All right, what's up, ready? everybody? Woo! <laughs> God, that's way too loud. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Go on. Um, sorry, I had a burp. Oh, hopefully I didn't get picked up. That Powerade burp. Yep. <laughs> that fruit punch Powerade burp. Um. So what's up, everybody? Welcome to our latest, newest episode. What's up, guys? I feel like it's been a while, but it's not. Nah, when did we record last time? I don't know. Friday. No, we didn't. Sunday. No, we didn't. Uh, Thursday. Thursday. That was Thursday. Yes. Holy shit! What today? What's today? Tuesday. Oh damn! Taco Tuesday. Ooh. You already ate, huh? I had some Chick Fil A. Yeah. Damn. I fucking hate. I fucking hate Chick Fil A. You they, say this they, like I, I'll say this every, every time. Other podcast. Yeah, I'll say this every other fu- every, every but podcast. You can't skip out on that chicken. God damn, that chicken sandwich is good, man. I don't know what it is about it. It's just so. It's just good. And there's probably a lot of people out there that are like, I don't like them because they, you know, they don't have very good values. And they don't. They're pieces of shit. But goddamn, man, that's a good chicken sandwich. If the Nazis made chicken sandwiches like that, I'd probably buy them. <laughs> yeah. All right. What? What the hell was that noise? I don't know. This is your house. I think my dad's on a uh, watching YouTube full blast. Nice. <laughs> yeah. If it uh, if it gets if it, <laughs> so, if you guys might hear some uh, some videos playing in the background, that's uh, that's my probably that's my, not. That's my oh, old man. You guys probably won't get it picked up. Well, if you do, your roommate. It's, oh yeah, my, that's my roommate too. Yeah, my room. Oh my other roommate other just came by just, too. And I parked in her spot. No, she parked and parked in. Okay. If anything, she'll park it back. Or she she I don't know what what her deal is, but it's like she can't just back it up. She just she would fly over fuses, so she's parking in the alley. Even though she has all the amenities like a backup. Hold on, camera. hold on, hold on. Is, is this coming from a guy that can't make a right hand turn to park into the parking spot? Oh, but, 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 but. into I, his own I driveway. I turn. I turn better with my left. Okay. Yeah. But you, so you go all the way around. Take a U turn. Bust the yeah. U turn. It's kind of it's cold as fuck. Yeah. Do you do it one hand? Well, you know I do the one hand. Uh, I don't think so. You know, I don't think walk. so. You don't think I could do a one hand? You? I've never been in a car with you driving. That's bullshit. Uh, yeah, you know you haven't, man. I don't think so. I'm, you're my fucking passenger, princess. Just want you to know that. Well, because I'm the one getting all fucked up. That's why. The true that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm the one fucking like just vaping. Well, I don't really like. Okay, all right, further disclosure: I don't vape in people's cars. You vaped in like my truck. It. When we were going Halloween Horror Nights, yeah, but, but was, I allowed you to. Yeah, but I asked, and I didn't because usually I don't like doing that. I don't if I'll ask first, but I'm not just gonna straight out do it like a fucking asshole. True, bro. Do you mind if I? They'll just sit in. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> oh man, this vanilla vanilla blast is amazing, man. Big old cloud of just yeah, and then it's like, oh hey, yeah, smell. all that juice is getting on my fucking windshield, asshole. Does that happen? Well, yeah, it's a, uh, it's still vapor, so like I'm assuming like the if they have nicotine in it or whatever, might get on the window and make my grease it up. Oh, I'd hate know? that. I hate when my window's dirty. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, how does that even happen? On the inside, when you don't smoke and you, it's just you, you, you go to work and back or whatever. I, I think you just, I think you accidentally touch it for some reason. Maybe there's something on there and you just put your fingerprint on there. It's the fucking worst thing though. Oh man, it's greased up, man. See, I told you she parked in the alley. <laughs> I told you. She's going to take another five minutes to open this door. You locked it? Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh. <laughs> you never know. It took her three seconds. Uh, did you park in the alley? No. Oh, you didn't? You parked in? No, I don't do it right now. Like Where'd you park? On the on, in Next to the alley. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> hey, I parked. Exactly one time there, and the car came out from the alley and just back. Oh, he did tell me about that. Yeah. That's why we were all worried last time when I came that they were going to do that to my truck. Yeah, yeah. they're going to sideswipe you and then keep going. <laughs> yeah, I'm not giving a fuck, <laughs> man. That guy, that guy always, I don't know what car he drives, but he's always at fucking like five in the morning and 
fucking just peels out of there almost all the time, man. We probably just had our first guest onto our podcast. Oh yeah, that, yeah, it was my mom. <laughs> it was my mom. Yeah, she doesn't. She, I guess she can't. She can't back up her car with a backup camera. <laughs> she says she got a license, but uh, it ain't to drive. She's actually a 007 agent. <laughs> she has a license to kill. I've seen her kill like three people. Barehanded. Bare fist. You should have been It was pretty tight. It was pretty tight. Uh, it scared me because I was like five, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, nothing wrong with seeing a dead body at five or six and ten. <laughs> this is all hypo- hypothetical. Just want to put that out there. FBI. I mean... It, if it's a double O, that should be a British then. I mean, I'm pretty sure they still would want to know. Well, actually, about it. you know what? Well, if you're doing a Daniel Craig, it's, I, I'm pretty sure that's British. But I don't think Bond has Bond exclusively been no, not British, huh? It's just some, just a guy, white guy. Typical white, typical guy. white guy. Nice hair. Uh, What's up with you and hair? I sent you a TikTok today because I don't have. Thought you focused on. Because I don't have any motherfucker. No. Do you do you remember the hair I used to have? Hey, you know what? I saw a video on, on TikTok. Like, Damn, that's serious. every episode. 30, 30, um, 35 year old man watching TikTok. This girl He's was going 35. through chemo and she was putting a, a cold cap on her head. And I guess was great. And I guess uh it saves your hair. Did, yeah, there's no saving my hair, dude. There's no little there's, uh, there's no late for this, but no, I meant I don't think it was there was no way because uh the treatment I got when I first got there, uh, it, I was bad, man. I didn't look bad. I didn't feel bad. Well, I felt bad from the surgery I had, the appendicitis. But overall, that was the only pain I had. I didn't feel sick or nothing. I just felt normal. I was just really, really sleepy, really sleepy, to the point where I couldn't, uh, I couldn't stay up twenty four hours without taking a, like an eight hour nap in between. Like, I, I. I tried everything. I, th- I, I, which, I, which sucks because I felt bad at the time because I was like twenty one. Tur- I was twenty, turning twenty one, and I didn't have a job, so I felt like I wasn't doing anything. Especially living at you know with your parents, and it's like, what are you doing? Just fucking playing video games all day. That's all you're doing. You're waking up, play video games, go, and that's it. Eat. What the fuck you do? Uh, but then I noticed like I would constantly sleep. I couldn't stay awake for. Any- I could. I could pound. I could pound. I pounded I, two rock stars back to back, and I immediately fell asleep. Like it was nothing, nothing. I would I would fall asleep for hours too. It wasn't wow. no it wasn't no like thirty minute hour nap. No, I would be out for four or five hours, and I wake up. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? I, I I would just feel like I was lazy, you know, especially since I have a job. So I'm like, fuck, man, what the hell? Am I? Uh, but then you know they found they found it and all that. But the 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 treatment I had. The chemo wasn't working at first, so they had to double dose it. So I, I would probably guess, you know, with uh, within a week, I probably, I had a really hot, I had a lot of chemo pumped into me. Oh wow, a lot, lot, a lot more than your average person, more than your average person, which meant I probably had a little bit more pain than the average person. The only thing I lost, though, I, the only thing I didn't lose, the hair wise. Was my eyebrows? And I was really worried about that. <laughs> I was, really, I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna look like a fucking buffoon walking around like a fucking turtle. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna walk around like a fucking turtle with no chin. Uh, I'm gonna walk. Uh, it, I was so, I was so like, I was not excited for that part. But and then, like, you know, I knew, I, I knew, I was like, well, I'm losing my hair. I just thought, well, maybe it'll, I, in my back of my mind, I'm like, well, maybe it'll grow back to straight or just whatever. It'll grow back. No, didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't happen at all. Uh. Now I'm not sure if that's common, or it just like it just does it grows back completely like not full or nothing it dis dissipates, or um, is it um, kind of rare? I, I don't know. I, I just mean, but at this point I don't. It's already gone. There's no hoping it coming back or anything like that. So yeah. What's the longest you gone without getting a haircut? Oh wow! I, this this will be like longer. The sides will be longer, but the middle will be short, like nothing. Mm, okay. So like, I, I was gonna get a haircut this weekend. Yeah, I'm getting a haircut on Thursday. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. You're excited about that? I haven't got a haircut like in a month. My barber took all of September off. You can't tell. I'm not even wearing a hat right now. You you should be happy you have hair. You should be growing that shit out and enjoying what you have now. 
Because you're 30. You're 31, motherfucker. Thankfully, my family's blessed with having hair. It's not gonna mine, go gray. Not mine, no. But well, my, brother my dad has, has a full set my of My brother hair. still has his hair. Lucky bastard. But uh, I don't be have the anything. One. Uh, damn, man. I fucking miss my hair. That's the, that's, that's the only thing I miss, my hair. Yeah, I used to have long hair. It's fucking... Yeah, I used to have it all the way down to the ass crack of... There's a little kid fucking with your dog. I know. He's a fucking little bastard. I hope the fucker gets bit by a pit bull. I don't give a fuck. As long as not your dog? Yeah, as long as not my dog, because my fucking... Uh, I don't know what he's going to sue me for, but he ain't got shit. I, I'm i just saying, I, got, I ain't got shit, man. They're suing me for a pair of socks. That's all they got. <laughs> you got a nice shoes collection. <laughs> not when I hear that lawsuit. <laughs> that shit's going to be burned. Uh, out of spite. <laughs> I can easily just sell that real quick for quick money, but I'm like, no, nah, I'm doing it. I'm burning out of spite. <laughs> yeah. I'm a very I'm a very spiteful person. I think you just incriminated us like three times already in this podcast. What was the first time? Your mom being a double O agent killing three bodies. We mean double O. You calling her fat? No, you said what you <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck do you mean man in my own house <laughs> fuck you oh man that was a nice tiktok you were in earlier that you sent me fuck you that what was festival was that was that uh, like the the banda festival or something like that was there music i don't know i, I just it just looked like a music festival mm. <laughs> the guy what was the other one i sent you oh the one i sent you last night Ooh. Are we going to talk about that? I don't I don't remember that one. <laughs> yeah, it was about the... Uh, what was it about? It was about... Um, oh, how people about. felt alive and like happy up until 2019. And then... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it's called... Um, it's called... I think... <laughs> the reason why that, that, that video pissed me off more. <laughs> that video fucking made me mad. I remember watching that why? going... Two, a couple... Oh, a lot of reasons. Uh, one, uh, waste of my fucking time. <laughs> oh my god, I watched that and going, what was this about? I had to watch it twice because I'm like, I, I'm like, what the fuck is this bitch going off on? Uh, yeah, um, it was basically like, how come people got a lot sadder out of nowhere? And it's like, well, you know, a pandemic happened, and the, you know, a lot of people died. Uh, some good people, a lot of bad people. Well, you know, a lot of dumbasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i don't give a fuck um but uh it's it, hey man we uh you know you uh when you when you realize you can't go anywhere and you're trapped in your house or you know you got just your people or you know you can't see you start to realize like holy shit what am i doing with my life all i do is go to the bar and hang out with my friends i don't have any i just go to work and hang out and go to, is that the life i want a lot of the, i think it, i think the pandemic Whoa, uh, not I want to say they're all woke, not like that. Some dumb shit. But I think people with the pandemic, what they went through, I think they realize, hey man, I think I want to change. You know, I think uh, a lot of shit happened in their minds that they weren't they they never had before. They never came across. They didn't have a the time to uh, dwell on it. Mm-hmm. I think that's what happened. I think that's people got stuck in their minds because they didn't know what the fuck to do for a couple hours a day. A lot of divorce happens. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Woo! What, yeah. Why'd you laugh so hard? <laughs> oh, that was uh, that was one of those uh, laughs. Like, oh, I gotta I gotta laugh hard to make it really funny because if not, <laughs> it's gonna be real depressing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then uh, you know, and then you know when the pandemic comes down, you lose a lot too. You, sometimes you lose a, uh, you know, your heart and another cat. So, now he's not dead. He just uh, got adopted. She won the custody battle. There is no custody. Just took him. Anyway, uh, I miss you, Damn. Archer. Yeah. Oh, Archer! I yeah. remember Archer. Yeah, I miss him. Damn. Yeah, he's not dead. I'm hoping he's all right. <clears throat> Hopefully. Yeah. But anyway, I think. We both People, got broken up with. Huh? We both got broken up with during the pandemic. Yeah, but I think mine was uh Yours is what? <laughs> well, it wasn't I mean it wasn't a marriage, so it was Oh, different. I thought you were gonna say yours was going I don't know why. I thought you were gonna say yours was worse. No. <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> Do 
I look like an asshole to you? <laughs> I mean, God, I, I have the haircut. I have the, the balding middle growing sides. You said you know? if I had a bigger truck, I would yeah. look more like an asshole. Well, that was due to something else you said earlier, <laughs> and I'm not going to bring it up. But you know what I, you know, you know, damn, you want, you want to talk about that? No. Oh, that's right. what I thought. Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> Shit. Oh, my call, hurts. Call me oh, out. You're like, what? Ah, uh, my well, hurts. You got four of them, huh? Which one? <laughs> the right one. <laughs> well, I took two off to scratch one. <sighs> When's the last time you played a scratcher? Like lottery? Yes. It's been forever. Yeah, no. you, you ever go to like a uh, the gas station or like a you know a place that has them, and you look and you're like, I'll buy a couple. I'll buy I buy a couple of the the fifty dollar ones or whatever the highest one. I'll buy one or two of those. But then that's not the trick. You got to buy a, like at least five or six of them. You yeah. To 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 hit on something. To I maybe like, hit on something. I feel like you got to buy at least three of the same one. Yeah. And one of those is gonna hit. Yeah. I would say either I I would say five or six to go with the extra measure. Yeah, you know, nice but then, odd number though. But then I, I like I like six or three, one of those. Uh, Wait, how what? come three? Three, three, three. three. Dime bag, fucking Daryl. No, four, four, four. The fuck is that? <laughs> Wendy's four, four, four. <laughs> You know what? I haven't had Wendy's in a while. That's, that's the truth. I haven't had Wendy's in a while. I guess 444 is like an angel number, but so everybody's getting that tattoo. So that I, was 555. Five, five. No, it's 444. Four. Oh, no, I thought that was 7. Oh, that's lucky. It's 777. Seven, seven. <laughs> Let's see, but I want the 444 four, four just because like Wendy's 4x444. Four four, four, four. Oh, yeah? I thought it was because <laughs> you weigh as much as a 4x4. Four four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thankfully, I haven't reached that scale. Well, you're about as wide as one. You're about as wide as one. You're about as you, you, you wide as a 4x4. Four four. My ass? You're about, you're about, my you, ass? Your ass is like a 4x8, motherfucker. Hey, with we the, didn't with talk the, about that, girl. With the, with the quad. Uh, universal. With the quad. Oh, my God, man. I'll do it because uh, you know I'm a I'm not a sleaze bag, but hey man, I appreciate beauty. That chick knew what she was doing <laughs> <laughs> as my crippled ass walked up. Was I walking? Or no, 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 no. I was on my scooter then. Yeah, I was. I was scooting around. I, first of all, um, ladies. Uh, I get that leggings are very comfortable. Um, uh, I wish guys kind of had them, or at least guys can just wear them freely. We have jeans. I mean, uh, we have sweats. Yeah, but it's not. I feel like the. Have you have you had like like tights on? They feel amazing. Yes, Tight, they feel great. Yes. If I was allowed to walk around and that, hey man, you uh, could buy. Yeah, you won't do it, but I wouldn't you do could it. buy the leggings that go under gym shorts. Yeah, I know, but then I got I got to wear gym shorts. I and. Know. I'm saying you won't do it. It's it's it, it's like yeah, but if I did that, I'd look like a fucking crow walking around. <laughs> oh, or a flamingo. Bird. Yeah, flamingo. You'd no, like that, a flamingo. I would, it would be had to be pink. <laughs> but yeah, I, I would look like a bird, man. So it doesn't work for me. Uh, but uh, just I, I just want to give you guys a forewarning. Uh, and if uh, when you get one of those electric scooters, oh, you got the best view of the. You got the best seat in the house, man ass level the whole time <laughs> i was catching whiffs on whiffs okay that's a little, <laughs> that's a little <laughs> okay well that's that was pretty now that could be due to you know hygiene because hey man bitch you know you couldn't hey man and, bitch you couldn't go hey, to you man i'm not hey bitch. You, I, hey it wasn't just women asses in front of me a lot of dudes a lot of first of all <laughs> i don't know i I, th- I know we touched upon this but a lot of dudes a lot i i mean a lot we're we're wearing very tight clothing, to the point where it was suffocating me and making me feel uncomfortable. Uh, this one dude, I, 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 the tightest. We didn't super, talk about the Spider Man dude. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we uh, uh, we, we did. Thought, I thought no, we did. No, we talked about tight clothes on dudes. Oh but. yeah, a lot of tight clothes. But this one dude, oh, I swear to God, it was the funniest thing ever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're waiting in line at that bar that charged ten dollars <laughs> per drink. That and I it was kind of shitty. I didn't get it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I ended up buying you. I ended up buying you an expensive drink with, and you got the cup with it, bitch. So shut the fuck up. Yeah, you did. Yeah, it was, that cup's yeah. badass. That cup is pretty badass. Yeah, but I, I'm, a, I'm. It only lights up when there's water. In yeah, it. it's uh when something's in it. Yeah, but you could turn it off though, because no, I try to untwist it, and the battery actually comes out. That's probably. I would. How are you supposed to clean it then? 
Clean what? The cup. Wash it. How are you supposed to wash it with batteries and electrical components? That's at the bottom. You motherfucker! You don't put, what, what, what the fuck do you wash? The, what do you wash? What do you wash your cup with? Don dish soap. That's a good dish soap. That's a very good dish soap. That's the one that cleans the ducks. But what do you wash it with? Dawn and what? WD forty because it's safe for batteries. Okay, that's that's a very good electrical um, uh, knowledge for anybody out there. But what else <laughs> do you mix with the fucking soap? So the water. Ah, there you go. And what does it mix with water? Battery. Electrical components. It's just a battery. Oh man, you're gonna you're gonna fuck up a lot of. Well, at least you're not an electrician, so. I did a. I, I couldn't install a fan though. You can install. You're Mexican. Any fucking Mexican can install a fan. <laughs> can you? <laughs> yeah, if you gave me, if you gave me, if I looked at the instructions, I'm like, yeah, I could do that. I'd just be more worried about getting shocked. That's I, you know. And you turn off the fucking power. Okay, well then there you go. The problem. Literally, solved. all you gotta do is just flip that switch, and there's not gonna be any power to that fan. I don't trust that. Everything has to be off. Well. That's cheating. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to cho- turn off the breaker. But th- the easy way is just turn off the switch. That's cheating? What do you mean? If you just tr- if you just turn the switch off, yeah. that's cheating. Because you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to actually turn off the breaker. Because anybody but can would, just But come- does it... Does it when, uh, when you do that, when you do by the switch, do you... Is it automatically disconnect? Yes. That's why it turns off. Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't trust it. I would. A lot. There's a lot of things. I like. I don't trust the mat. Like, like you know. The biggest issue with that though is that out, as soon as people, some somebody else walks into the room, yeah. First instinct is to flip that switch on. And if you happen to be touching those wires when they flip that switch on, you gotta be grounded. You're gonna be underground. It'd be tight. The dead part, not you know, being electrocuted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway what were we talking about oh yeah Halloween Horror Nights that dude hold on, hold on. That, that reminded me of something it was like death when the closet is happy that you're hanging up your clothes instead of hanging yourself it's pretty good <laughs> it's pretty good but my is the closet is a sentient being yes it has feelings that's weird that's why it's happy every time you insert something into them that's weird that's weird I feel like if you insert, insert anything into any anybody or any being or any sentient being, it's a little weird. If you're not feeding it, if it's not substance to live or food, it's a little weird. How do you know it's not? That's a good point. But uh, if he ate your food, wouldn't your clothes just vanish? What if just having the f- food... Mm-hmm. in it was enough so what, is he, he he grazes like a cow no kind of like photosynthesis photosynthesis yes okay i don't know why the fuck i choose to say big words <laughs> on this shit <laughs> choose to say big words well because you got you got you got big ass cheeks well, my boss today came in and told me it's academic that the, the, damn it i was practicing on the way over here the, the tactilon the tactilon I know you were I practicing. I know you I were, you know it's funny as I know you were practicing. I was. You say on the way here, you live down the street, motherfucker. I tried like ten times. You tried probably twice. That's how long that drive is. <laughs> it's down the street. I can chuck a football. Okay, I can't. But uh uh a Peyton Manny? Oh yeah. He could fucking he could crack your mom in the head with a football from here. You know how far the heart or I guess how close we live to each other. Yeah. My car doesn't warm up by the time I get here. That's good. Oh, that's bad. But no, you know, it's bad. Yeah, I know. But uh, hey, are you still? Close. You're going to be a mechanic soon. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, we go. are side railing so bad today. Side railing. Hey, hey, uh, it's off the rails uh, on on this episode. I heard that's a good uh, brewery. It is. That's what I was going to say. Pretty we went to it's pretty good. Today. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I should have came dressed. Why? Why? Uh, why? Don't, why don't we go drinking, man? 
maybe I mean, Friday. I fucking love. <laughs> I don't say I fucking love drinking, but uh, I just I just like being inebriated because I don't have to think about my thoughts. Maybe Friday. Friday. Ooh, I get up at five. I throw on my Pantera shirt. Or I fucking. Just fucking rage. Oh, okay, so back to my question. Yeah. Are you supposed to warm up your vehicle before you drive it? Lechuga's going to be a mechanic soon. Just FYI. I know on uh, manuals, yeah. Yeah. From what I read, it doesn't really matter. I guess as long I, as you're not revving it, going super fast. Well, for manuals uh, or standards, um, the gears, when you're switching gears, can be a little... you know, uh, Not... Just a little, uh, I don't know how to, what's the word. Like, I don't want to say difficult because it's just, you it's know, just not as smooth. Remind me you know? to ask you one of our listeners' questions. What? At some point. What? So we're going to start taking listeners' questions. Yeah, we'll take we'll take any questions, man. Just send them in. I mean, the, to the three viewers we had. I know. Um, you know, I know. Uh, <laughs> you said your boss listens to this? Yes. Can you give me a job? <laughs> I mean, I have a job now, but you know, I you know, I want to make more a little bit more money, you know, because I want to, I need to go to school, so I can buy uh, these old ass import cars and uh, super them up for no fucking reason, and just drive them around to pretend I'm hard as fuck, but I'm not. I just am a really big fan of Fast you, and the Furious one, two, and. Uh, you wouldn't be hard as fuck inside there. I'd be hard as fuck in there. Yeah, <laughs> if it was a it was a fucking skyline. <laughs> oh my god it was an r it was r30 uh 35 skyline it was 34 35 fuck it and i'll take a 33 i like a 33s um any skylines fucking right hand drive oh man i'd fucking bust and i'm tr- I'm trying right now to get a uh a lancer evo i'm trying to get a right hand drive like shit like uh from japan but i it's gonna you be you cra- get it imported in it it's already here. Oh, okay. I just gotta, you know, pay, I just gotta pay probably seven grand to get it California complied. But it's already here in the states. Yeah. What state? California. So how come it's not already? Because you gotta, you gotta modify it. You already talked to somebody about <laughs> it? No, I just been shopping around. They they have one I really want. It's an all white version of it, and and it's I think it's an Evo eight or nine or a eight. It's Evo 8. Oh, it looks so clean, man. It has the uh, uh, rally um, headlights on them. So it has the two big-ass circles on the bottom. And it's all white. All white, baby. Oh, it looks so sick, man. Oh, it looks so clean. And it's like 32. But you have to thousand? get a ship. Yeah, 32,000. Yeah, it's like a, it's a 90. But trust me, guys. These cars, it, it's it's weird. Guys? So the one person listening now? One person, yeah. Uh Listen, whoever likes cars from a newbie, <laughs> uh, these cars are fucking getting expensive, man. Like ridiculously expensive. Like '90s import cars, like uh, Skylines, uh, Lance, uh, Lancer Evos, uh, WRXs, or the STIs, WRX STIs. Yeah. Uh, good luck trying to find one under 15, 15 Gs. Because everyone's everyone everybody wants like thirty two, or up or no, it's like twenty two and up, twenty two thousand and up for uh, a Lancer Evo, and it's like, dude, that car came out in two thousand. It's a two thousand six or it's a two thousand three or two thousand five. Why would I? Why would I pay that thirty thousand for a car that came out in two thousand or the nineties, ninety eight or whatever? Why would I pay that much? Thirty thousand, forty thousand, or thirty five, whatever. I don't care if you modded it and all that crap. That doesn't add value to it. I'm sorry. It just doesn't. Yeah, people think they do. Yeah, it, I, I hate to break it to you guys who mod cars, but the money you put into it, like, you know, there's certain things that, yeah, hey, you, you fix the head gaskets or you fix cer- certain things that need to be fixed that are, you know, uh, sometimes shitty on the car just in general or, uh, or like they always fail. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Uh, that's fine. That's what you're supposed to do. But to be like, oh yeah, I added this carbon fiber spoiler, all this other extra shit to make it go, you know, 400, 500 horsepower, whatever the fuck. Uh, yeah, I don't need that, ma'am. I just like the car. I just like uh, going a little bit, you know, maybe I don't want to fucking go to speed of light, but you know, I'm just, uh, I'm a casual driver, man. I, I like cruising. I just want to cruise around on a cool ass car that I uh, always liked growing up. 
it's one of those childhood things. You grow up and you're 30 and you got a little bit, and you're like, oh man, I got a job. I'm going to buy this stupid shit. Yeah, I don't have a house, but you know, I got this cool ass car. <laughs> we can fucking that. <laughs> I got I got a lock on my door. It's cool. I'll, I'll just have to have wave my cats out unless unless you want them in there. But I don't, they might uh, they might bother us. <laughs> you just gotta have window your windows tinted. What? You gotta have your windows tinted. Nah, you leave those motherfuckers empty. You leave them see through so they can fog up real nice. Well, they don't get fogged up even if they're tinted. Yeah, but it looks hotter with no tint. <laughs> <laughs> you you don't remember that Titanic Leo DiCaprio scene? She was clearly under twenty five when that scene was made, so that's why he was able to do it with passion. I'm guessing she was under twenty five. If she is, that'd be fucking really hard. But if it's not, that'd be uh kind of shitty. <laughs> kind of like he did. He did. Very good. Leo DiCaprio is fucking awesome, man. We're right, <laughs> we're off the rails right now. Shout out to Off the Rails, uh, Big Strip, California. They have a, uh, I want to, uh, they have this stout. It's like a thir- 12 or 13 percent. Oh man, it's delicious and it gets you all fucked up and nice and chill. Makes you feel ooh ooh ooh, ooh good. There you go. That's a little free sponsorship right there to the five people listening. Uh, I appreciate it. Why are you on your phone? I am uh, getting the listener question. We talk they, like they're sending them in right now. It's not live, guys. This is all recorded in Lechuga's house with his three cats. Yeah, Bender's right here. He's passed out. He's cool. Where Pugo? Uh, probably somewhere. Bender's right here. He's he's an all black cat. He's tight. Just in time for Halloween. Just and to all time. the people who just get black cats real quick to take pictures and then drop them off somewhere or leave them at the show, fuck you, you're a piece of shit. Cats are awesome. This black cat's fucking cool. His name is Bender. He's kind of an asshole, but he's awesome. I don't give a shit. I love him. And I love Boo, too. She is a, oh, she's a white and black cat, mostly white. But when you hold her with her back towards you, she has two black circles on top of her head, so she looks like a ghost. And she's awesome. She was laying on a kiwi's lap earlier. Yeah, she was. Then she was, she realized like this stomach is big as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get comfortable. It's like I'm breaking my neck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Kiwi has a lovely stomach for all you ladies out there who like to lay on stomachs. Ow, Bender, you fucking asshole. I would Sorry. think it'd be more comfortable laying on a stomach than a six packs abs. Yeah. I got, hey, uh, to all the ladies out there too, I also have a stomach. I'm skinny fat. So if you like that, you know, if you like the muscle man body where you got the skinny legs but big heavy top kind of, a little droopy, yeah, that's me. Ow, Bender, stop. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, man. You want to be on the podcast? Can you meow? Uh, he doesn't really meow. He, I don't he, think he, I've ever heard him he, meow. He a little squeak squeaks, but uh, boo, you should hear boo when she's about to be fed. She sounds like a balloon. <laughs> it's really high pitched. How? <laughs> <laughs> she's awesome. And then my other, uh, Lana, the uh, older cat, she does the same thing. Meow, meow. The whole fucking, until she gets fed. She loves food, man. That's why she weighs like 20 pounds. Yeah, it's a fat cat. Does she not fat? It's a fat cat. She's not a fat cat. She's uh, pretty cool, pretty chill, pretty lean. <laughs> she uh, She's in the cutting phase. <laughs> it's bulking season, bro. She, yeah, you know what? She's actually, since it's uh, October, she's bulking right now. So uh, she, needs to, she needs to heat up, warm up, and get yoked up. You know what I'm saying? So she's been, wor- she's been working out, you know, well, you know, mainly sleeping, but you know, working out while she's in her dreams. You know, so it's, uh, and cats have this weird thing where, uh, in like in Constantine, where they can ma- make you, help you travel to hell. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. You remember that shit was tight. Keanu Reeves as Constantine. I want that. I want that second one, man. That fucking movie ruled. And you know what? It, it would work now. Are they making a second one? I think he was trying to get it made. I thought so too. Yeah. He was trying to get it made. That holy shotgun was fucking cold. Uh, Shia LaBeouf, he probably can't be in it. <laughs> Cause he couldn't do it. Is he canceled now? He's canceled. I'm pretty sure you guys. Uh, 
you know, even he's not he's not very even, Stevens. You know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> hey, did you see that dude? Uh, well, that's why like that dude from that seventy show. <laughs> oh, you mean Hyde? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. first of all, I don't like that seventy show. That show sucked ass. Uh, Topher Grace, a hey, uh, you might be good in some things, just not that. I just don't like you in that, and especially in Spider Man Three, you killed that fucking series for me, you <laughs> asshole. I'm just kidding, man. I'm just uh, you're you're pretty cool because you he know why. Venom. Yeah, he play. You know why you're cool? Because you didn't. Because you're the only one that was like, yeah, I'm not. You 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 knew for you probably knew back then. Like this guy's a piece of shit. That's why I don't want to be affiliated with you, motherfuckers anymore. Boom. That's why. So that makes him cool. Ah, my headphones. <laughs> this dude is energetic today. Well, I just finished off my uh, Seagram 7 and my Crown Royal, and I took three uh, 25 milligram. Uh, Ready kicking in yet? Edibles. No, nah, not for another hour, man. I'm probably like, I'm probably right when right when this is over, probably kick in. Probably. Because I've been taking the 50, and it, it barely even does anything to me. So I just thought, hey, I'll do three. And ridiculous. if three don't do it, then I'll pop four, and we'll see, we'll see what go, we'll go from there. What would one do to me? Nothing. Well, one? Yes. One? To me, that I don't do nothing. 25? Yeah. Send you to the fucking moon, man. That's you'd be, fucking crazy. You'd be, you'd be afraid, like, huh? Huh? You'd be fucking tripping now, brother. So what's like a standard well, no, I milligrams? Say, no, it's a, actually, I think 25 is, uh, or... Fuck man, I don't want to get my ratios wrong. I was well, say, we're not experts. I, yeah, I know I'm not an expert, but I think it's, I think 25 is like baseline. Yeah, baseline. I think 25 is baseline, where it's like if that's the edible you're gonna take, I would take a 25. Yeah, but then again, that could be very strong. It hits people differently. So a 10 milligram or half of it, which was be what 12.5, mm-hmm. uh, that might fuck you up. Just mm-hmm. half of it. You How know? long does it last for? A couple hours. Couple hours. Couple hours, yeah. That's I like edibles more, especially the people who can't really smoke. Like uh like my brother. He can't really smoke because of his lungs. I used to smoke with him all the time, but every time I smoked, it would be like because I get, you know, I try to get top shelf because it's I might as well spend the money, you know. Uh but I, I every time he smokes, he's like <laughs> he's like coughing, you can hear him coughing down the street. And I'm like, Yeah, that's how you know I got the good shit. But it's just he has bad lungs, so he had to quit smoking. So now, like when, uh, like I gave I gave him one of my twenty five, one of the twenty five milligrams, and he was a uh, power uh, washing the side of the house. He said uh, when he started, he had you know back pain. I gave him one, and like uh, he took it, and within like an hour, he was like, oh, "I felt great." I was like, <laughs> "He was like, I was doing, I was spraying it up and down, I didn't feel no pain." Shit. Yeah. So it, that's not saying. So it it, like it, it all time. depends on person to person, and because he's like a you know he's. He's like, well, how tall are you? Five ten. He's probably like six foot, or like five eleven. He's a little, he's a little, he's he's a little bit taller. Oh, you know, six foot. Yeah, six foot, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, uh, why does top shelf make you cough more? It doesn't. It's just because he has bad lungs, can't really cough. But top shelf usually just means it's stronger. How come? How come they say you have? It's, e- weak it's lungs? either it's either stronger or uh, well cured. Well, it makes it what makes somebody get used to that smoke being in their lungs. Like, like I, I'm pretty sure if I smoked anything that you're smoking, I'd be coughing up a lung. But yeah, you smoke it like I'm, nothing. I'm vaping right now, so yeah, you, you would probably cough. But then that's most people. Um, I think you you just you you yourself get used to inhaling smoke that's true i'm not i don't smoke you know, but i'm not I'm saying not i'm not saying like oh yeah i could be a fireman i can go inhale no that's that's way worse so that's then way somebody that smokes but cigarettes would have an easier time smoking weed maybe as yeah. far as their lung goes yeah as far as their i would i would think so yeah because hmm. i feel like uh cigarettes are a lot harsher sometimes especially if you get the fucking marble reds no filter oh my god man you're fucking <laughs> yeah do they sell them with no filter i yeah i I think they still sell them with no filter man that's hardcore smoking man that's like fucking you got the confederate flag somewhere on your white on your fucking 1960s toyota truck pickup truck <laughs> steel merrick <laughs> oh no uh no no my bad you know what? it's a chevy it's a chevy pickup truck from the fucking 60s that you ride around that you still have the don't tread on me sticker on it even in 2023 and you're just puffing on unfiltered marble reds, and you had the uh, you had the whole pack uh, rolled up into your sleeve, nineteen four uh, fifty style, greaser style. You never, I've never seen, seen that? that? 
Never seen that? You, oh. know, you don't remember The Outsiders? They would like roll that? it up on their sleeves? Yeah, it's badass, man. It's pretty uh, It's pretty <laughs> badass. I'll say that. It's uh, They get the pack and they put it inside their shirt. The square then, pack? Yeah, the square pack. And then they rolled that over. So when, they, when you see the sleeve, it became shorter. But it has, you can see the square pack. You can see the square. It's like, oh, that guy had I have cigarettes. never seen that. You've never seen that? Oh, come on. That's a classic. That's, That's a classic crazy. look, man. That's When you see that, if you see a guy with that, do not fuck with that guy. That guy clearly doesn't give a fuck anymore, man. <laughs> or Why? he doesn't he doesn't want to squish his cigarettes. <laughs> cigarettes. You know you don't remember that? You no. never seen that before? Oh my god, man. That's it's such a cool look. I think it's badass. You don't remember Well uh, they come up on fucking you don't, search. You don't remember Matthew McConaughey and um uh fuck, what's it? Dazed and Confused? That's one of my favorite movies, man. I've never seen that in my life. You never seen Dazed and Confused? Why does that guy look like Pedro Pascal? That is crazy. <laughs> I have a never people, seen that. A lot of people look like Pedro Pascal. Oh, there's in the Matthew. 70s. There's Matthew McConaughey right there. <laughs> yeah, Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, the fucking rolled up the uh, fucking. It's greaser style, man. That's like some rockabilly shit. Listen to Johnny Cash where you're smoking your marble reds unfiltered. With your greased up hair pulled in the back, you know what I'm saying. You got your uh, you got your um, your pinup girl tattoos on with the Frankenstein somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you got you had the you had no no my bad. You have Frankenstein's monster to be correct. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you, you have, have a, a you know you have it somewhere. You don't even like the series. You don't even like the movie. It's all right. You find it interesting, but not enough to be like oh yeah I'm away. But you just hey. do it because it's part of the culture. Yeah. You don't get tattooed. Oh fuck yeah, man. Let's go Friday 13th. Get a cross on my middle finger so when I flip people off, it's an upside down cross. That's fucking tight. That would be pretty dope. That'd be tight. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That'd, That'd be, be pretty sick. tight. Yeah. I mean, technically, I have two tattoos. Ah! Mm-hmm. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot Bender was right there. <laughs> what do you mean, technically? I have. I, Why are you showing me your boss? Right? I'm not showing you my nutsack. It's too small to see anyway. Uh, I'm trying to show you where I have. Right there. See that? That mole? It's a blue dot. I have them both. I have them on both sides, because when I get when you get radiation, that's that's where uh, my hands were, when I laid all the way down flat. That's where my fingertips were. They marked it. Zzz. Why? I forgot why, but uh, I don't uh, I don't know if you, anybody who knows anybody who went through radiation for whatever reason. Um, for me, they. Uh, when you before that even happens, they fit you into two molds. Uh, one is a body mold, and it's like a blue. It's almost like a blue. You're sitting in that blue, like a blue foam, right? Mm. You lay in it, and it conforms to your body. And then they help you. They help, like you know, you can they uh, do your thighs. It's like all molded to your body, and then they kind of. It's like an air thing, so it's it sucks all the air out, and it hardens, right? But but it basically just it's a mold for your body so you can stay because when you're getting radiation you're not supposed to move at all they want you f- still as a fucking need like just Ooh, yeah like you're not you're not supposed to you're, they don't like you they don't want you to move that's why um so you get the body mold right so it conforms to your body but then they're like oh so we're gonna zap we're gonna give you he's like technically it's tattoos he goes these are just gonna be like where your fingertips are, are. I'm like all right whatever and it was it was and that was it. It was two blue. I had two blue dots on both sides of my thighs, and um, so so I technically have two tattoos. Uh, it felt it felt weird. It felt like just like a little burn. Like oh, and I, it didn't even feel like a. It didn't hurt. I just felt ooh. I felt I felt kind of nice. I felt kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> Get fucking tattoos on my nipples, man. Um, but yeah, but that's where your your fingertips were, and uh, after that they fit you for another mold at the same time. It's a it's a mold for your face, and it's like a it goes over your whole your whole head covers your whole head, and it's like a netting, almost like it looks like a glow in the dark material, but it's like a netting like a mesh, but it's like a cl- like a hard plastic whatever, I don't know what it is made out of, but it's like it's a mesh that goes over your whole face. Then they cut out holes for your eyes, nose so you can breathe, and then I think mouth. Um, but they they the when you're getting radiation. Yeah, they put that mask on you, the fitted one, and they bolt you down. They screw you into it. So even if you're like really get a claustrophobia attack, you're like, ah, you get out, 
they had to pull you out and it's going to take a little while because <laughs> you know how slow it is. But then it's like they have to unscrew you. And you so you're both. So if you have, if you're claustrophobic, you're going to freak out, man. But me, I didn't, I, it was not, I'm not, I'm not really claustrophobic. So they, when you go into the tunnel, you're bolted in. So there's no way of like, Oh, I need to get out. I need to No, you're bolted in. And I, I'm not, so I, I did that. I forgot how long the sessions were. I, I think they were 30 minutes or fuck. I don't even think I, I'm claustrophobic, but that sounds minutes, yeah. horrible. Yeah. It's your whole body. And the one I got was experimental technically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So are they doing it now? I'm not sure if they're doing it now. Like, you know, it's approved or, you know, it's like, a, but it's been nine, uh, near 10 years. It, mine was experimental. Yeah. A lot changed at that hospital within the this nine years. Um, yeah. A lot's changed. Like the apartments I used to stay at when I was living over there, um, they're gone. They're, now they're like a duplex. They look nice. They have like a fucking balcony and everything. I'm like, I had fun. I didn't have that. <laughs> I, I had... I had apartments that we had to use sandbags just in case it rained, so it didn't it didn't leak in. <laughs> That's what I lived. Why did you have to live in an apartment? Because I had to constantly go back and forth to the hospital. Still, mm. I was still. We like, need to have an episode just on this. Yeah, I mean, it's not much to tell, man. It's just. Uh, I feel like we already went over everything. Yeah, we pretty much went over everything. I mean, it's not much to do, you know. It's uh, it was something I went through. Uh, I don't know if I came out stronger. I think it fucked me up more. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I'm here. Have you ever checked to see if they were still your finger link? I think it changed a little bit. That's kind of weird, huh? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah. I don't know what that's from. That's from the fatness or the... Maybe I'm getting shorter and my body's... My spine is, you know, disintegrating one by one. One node by node. So, like, now my arms pass it because I'm losing sp- spinal fra- um, structure. Hmm. Yeah, you know, getting old. 30. <laughs> 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 you know, I'm 30. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm get, I'm an old man now. <laughs> you know, I got osteo. You know what I'm saying? Osteoporosis. What? Paralysis? No, I can still walk. I can still Osteo. feel. I can still feel. Like that's like something like that. Uh, inside, but you know. You would learn at Hogwarts or something. Osteo. <laughs> yeah yeah that's something you can give a wizard would give somebody else just to <laughs> not have you know have brittle bones to have oh they do do that kind of yeah didn't they do it to uh Harry yeah that, when he, he got Harry, injured? when he got yeah when he got injured he goes oh, i think it's broken and he's like oh don't worry about me i can fix this right in mindo or whatever the fuck he said and then now it just removed all the bone and exactly the yeah then he had to drink some uh poly- some potion to regrow bones, so I, he couldn't jerk off with his uh, was his right arm or his left arm? Do you remember? I mean, he could just wrap right. it around though, without the bones. Oh yeah, I'd be like a nice <laughs> guy have a nice <laughs> suction though. How, how you gonna have that that tight grip? Oh. You know? How you gonna have that gorilla grip? <laughs> that what was it? That uh, what did they say in Sublime? That kung fu grip. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was a GI Joe kung fu grip. That's what it was. I didn't know she had that G.I. Joe Kung Fu grip. What do you think of that? White guys doing like impressions of Jamaican accents and songs, kind of. It's a little racist. You think it's racist? You think Sublime is racist? <laughs> 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 I don't I don't know what the how uh the I think uh, it was a little bit more acceptable back in the day. I yeah, I don't know how uh Scott and uh, that makes it okay though. Cause you've noticed uh a lot of white dudes in uh, reggae and ska. A lot of white dudes. Shout out to Madness. They're fucking awesome. Um, uh, but didn't I? S- huh? <laughs> what? Didn't I show you a picture of Elmo? Was that you? You should. I don't know. I'm not. You don't text me by anything. No, I think we were in person, and it was a picture of Elmo. I was like, what if? What if it's in my one of my favorite songs? <laughs> What? It was like pretty much like Elmo was saying, like, can Elmo say it if it's oh yeah yeah I remember my, that part yeah. of my favorite song yeah <laughs> um I don't know uh, remember that time Kendrick Lamar had a fan come up it was like a white girl I think and uh, I forgot what song it was but of course they say the n word in it and I think she said it and he was like he stopped the song he goes oh, 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 oh. like he's like don't say it <laughs> but it's like well. Well, what, what, what am I supposed to do? 
Yeah, I don't know. I remember um I remember watching a documentary. It was a uh, I ain't dead yet, motherfuckers. I think it was it's about Richard Pryor. Um and they had like, you know, most like like you know, people who've worked with him or you know, uh, love his material. They had his wife or his girlfriend or wife on there and stuff like that. And I remember they were talking about you know, the N word. And then I remember most deaf going, say it. It's a beautiful word. Say it. And it's like, I, 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 I can't. <laughs> Although I will say this, I have gotten a black card before. So I don't know if that counts for anything. I don't think that counts for anything. Oh, damn. Shout out to Sh- Shakura. <laughs> Her name was Shakira, but our uh, our boss would call her Shakura. It was awesome. <laughs> oh, she's doing all right, man. Last time she was uh, with this guy, Richie Rich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So for our last little segment, are you ready for the question? Oh, yeah. There's a question from who? From Juan. Who's that? One of our loyal listeners. A loyal listener. All right. Juan. He's one in a million. So I, I appreciate you guys listening. This is going to be a last podcast. Okay. Uh, so a question: If you could swap gender for a day, what would you do? If I could be a woman, this is your first time even uh, hearing this. Do I have? A, am I going through menopause and or on a period? Let's just say perfect scenario. Per- <laughs> <laughs> uh nothing i'd probably just be I'm like oh hey uh i have a giant i already have tits so it's not much of a not much of a you know <laughs> yeah it's not much of a difference man so i'd be oh hey i like oh what's uh my dick got a little bit smaller <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> um, so uh, I guess it's not much different. Uh, business as usual, you know. Do I wear a bra? Nah, I didn't wear a bra when I was. Well, <laughs> it might help my back. No, nah, no, nah. I'm like I'm gonna go. <laughs> if anything, they probably just look more perky. But then I'm 30. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I won't go into it. No, never mind. No. <laughs> I'm not deleting that. Oh I'm man. Not deleting that. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know. Hey, if anything though, they might perk up though. You never know. The, but you're thirty. Yeah, but the the perky thirties, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying that pop, it pops up out of nowhere. You're like, where the hell did my boom right there? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yep. What? Yep. You never know. You never know, man. Okay, I can tell you you're uncomfortable by this question. No, I'm not. Uh, that's probably what I would do. I wouldn't do anything different. I'd just go to work. Uh, sad. Pressed and then uh, walk around for a bit, you know, do my job, and then come home uh, the same way, and then uh, that's that, you know. You know, take two of those, uh, take take about fifty milligrams. Hopefully, I don't feel, and I usually don't feel it, unfortunately. So now I'm like, oh, my tolerance must be pretty high, or they're bunk. I don't know which one, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't change anything. I think it would just be this, this business as usual. I don't know what you guys want. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be like, yeah, I'm going to fucking fuck this. Yeah, I'm going to fuck that. Nah, man, I'm just going to do business as usual, man. Business as usual. Business as usual. What would you do? Oh, you know what would do? It would be funny. Uh, Wear really tight things and go to the gym. And then see how many people will look. And just be like, huh. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I already mean, I have tits, so it's not really much of a difference. So. It just probably, I wouldn't have a beard. Ooh, do I get my hair back? <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes just lit up. Your eyes just oh, lit man, up right I'd now. Oh, man, I'd be like, oh, man, it's a... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I just be I, if I do get my hair back, then I'm fucking headbanging all day. It's hard. It's kind of tough to do that with no hair. It's a fucking it, it, hurt, it hurts a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the momentum of the hair waving around. You know. I mean, you don't. Does know. that help? Yeah. And you look cooler. 
Hmm. Headbanging with no hair. I mean, the only person that could really headbang with no hair is Phil and Sammo. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Yeah. That was questions from the listeners. The, the fucking kid himself, man. Check out our uh, next episode. Huh? We still got to talk about a Russian guy. Oh, no, we're talking about right no, now. No, 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 I'd even get the opportunity to tease. <laughs> <laughs> this is your opportunity, right? This, here. this is uh, they, not if they saw me in video. <laughs> I saw you. They, if, if they follow the Instagram, they saw you. You posted my picture on there. I told you. I, I thought you put a piece of lettuce on my face, though. Not on your face. I thought it was on my face. You did, kid. I literally showed it to you exactly how I was gonna post it. I don't remember that. It's on there. So whenever you want to activate your Instagram from like six weeks ago. I never, yeah, I never did, huh? No. I said, I probably had to make a Facebook so I can, you know, check out on these cars. Be like, hey, bitch. You know, instead of having me messing up. I'm not paying that much for a 2003 car. So how about we meet in the middle and go fuck yourself? Sorry, I'm just getting real aggravated about the prices of cars that they, people think that, uh, I just don't like the resale game, man. <laughs> Everywhere I go, it's just everyone's fucking greedy. They want their, Ten thousand dollars out of fucking a five dollar five thousand dollar thing. Uh, it pissed me off, man. Uh, or it's not even worth that, man. It's barely worth. It. I don't know. Yeah, but I put like twenty five k worth of mods in it. All right. Uh, <laughs> that's doesn't not what matter. I want. You don't get your matter. value. Yeah, it's not how it works, man. It doesn't go up. You know, but uh, you know that's way sometimes it's, it is. It's the way it is. Is that the way the cookie crumbles? It's the. Uh, I'm, I'm not even sure. Well, I, you know, are you allowed to have cookies? I think you've had too many. Why wouldn't I be allowed to have cookies? I'm a fucking grown ass man. <laughs> yeah, with a grown ass belly. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You got to watch out your cookie intake. You know, say how many cookies you eat a day. Unfortunately, not yeah. one a day. <laughs> I thought for sure. Like, unfortunately. Like a whole sleeve. <laughs> I thought for sure you make a bunch of whole sleeve. Yeah. Don't you have? Didn't you have Oreos here last time? I used to. I got some ding dongs and Twinkies for your ass. Yeah. No. I don't want. I don't want you your ding dong. You don't want no or your Twinkie anywhere near my ass. Uh, I think ding dongs. You remember ding dongs? Uh, ding dongs tasted better when they came in foil. <laughs> you don't remember that? Yes, I do remember yeah, that. I, 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 I fucking know you remember. <laughs> yeah. I don't really care for ding dongs though. So I never really had them. Your stomach says different. <laughs> I guarantee if I gave you a ding on right now, you eat it. I mean, <laughs> I put it in my mouth. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know you put a ding on your mouth. <laughs> well, <without> question. <laughs> no foil. Easier to take in. Faster. You don't have to like fucking shit. No Why did he used to come in foil? I don't know. That was just cool. Why do Kit Kats uh, come in red packaging? It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. Just go for it. Oh, do 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 do. That's just the way it is. Do 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 do. Things will never be the same. Yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's where I should have ended it. <laughs> yeah, but it's not. It's not. It's not. That doesn't represent me though. I can sing better than that. You know, I've been singing since I was like a little kid. Apparently. Oh, you. You remember when you were supposed to record uh, something on your piano for our podcast? Yeah, do you remember I work, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm swamped. <laughs> I come home, I just want to chill, man. I just want to pass out. And then our logo's going to get updated too, right? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be a gigantic... Uh, it's been it's about... Gonna, it's going to be the end of a hot dog right there. It's been about... How, how many been, How many episodes do we have already? Like, I don't know, like two? No, we got like probably closer to 20 than we do oh. 15. So you don't even know. So why are you know. judging me if you don't even fucking know? I wasn't judging you. You were judging me. You, you, your tits, and your fucking stomach were looking at me with your hairy ass knees, looking at me in disgust. Yes. Because what was the what was the I totally forgot mid what I was talking about like mid sentence right there Pfft, gone. All right, this is where we're going to leave you guys. Something something about... Uh, Appreciate you guys listening. Oh, my God. That gut is huge as shit today. That Nike Please SB. Please continue to Woo! share. That Nike SB with shirt. With all your friends and family. Extra medium. <laughs> the podcast. 
Two fi- two thirty. Was at the most. Two thirty extra medium coming through. <laughs> <laughs> 